Hey, what's going on, Internet? Welcome to another episode of Will My Opponent's Deck and Draw Prevent My Dirtily Deck from Doing Degenerate Things? Playing against, what was his name, Finky? So if you've been watching the E3 coverage, you'll know that, one, I'm not going to keep this hand. We got two, it's basically a five card hand. And no graveyard enablers. This is great though. So I'll leave with this. You know, I always want to lead with the blue tap land just in case you rip Hedron Crab off the top. And if you don't rip Hedron Crab, then we'll probably go forest into Wayfinder and get the show on the road. We're playing against a red deck. So we'll see what happens there. So probably want to play the Arcane Sanctum next turn and the Visionary. There's two Arcane Sanctums. Do we have... I think we already have all our colors. Um, I'm going to need another Opulent Palace. So Arcane Sanctum into Visionary and go from there. But anyways, they announced that the, the Expone is going to, you know, be introducing backwards compatibility with, you know, I guess the, the use of an emulator. Yeah, what up, Goblin Player? Another one. So I guess it's going to be aggro decks all days with this deck. Uh, I guess no. Still do Sand Step. We're going to need a, a Seance pretty quickly, though. I mean, if he has a Rattle Master here, I don't think we can win. The old land go, land crank goes command. That's yeah, the Izzet deck. I mean, that gutter snipe is going to be extremely difficult to beat as well. Wow, he does not just run into my guys. So, we're in trouble. We have a Resolute Archangel, but... Some of these guys play counter spells in their deck. But anyways, Xbox One is going to be, through the use of some emulator, getting backwards compatibility with, with the Xbox 360. Now that's not every game. I guess they have to like program it or set it up for each individual game. Quicken, come on. He better off. I hope he has four Artful Dodges in there. I hope he's not playing a Quicken over an Artful Dodge. Yep, yeah, this game's over. Good for him. I mean, we do have, eventually, I mean, I'll take that gutter snipe all day. We're going to take one big hit from the Rowl Master. God, you got to watch damage effects too, you douchebag. Anyway, it's not all, uh... All games will have the backwards compatibility. Like, I guess you can actually vote on what games you want. And I looked at it, and as of right now, the Yu-Gi-Oh games have more votes than the Duels games. So I'll try and put the, the link to the voting website in the description. But like, we're taking four, six, ten. We're going to five. Yeah, we're dead. Can't beat a Rattle Master with this deck. Especially when we run out of chump blockers. And I don't think this guy played well at all. He basically, you know, suicided his gutter snipe into my two guys, but whatever. So he didn't roll over the, the Rattle Master. But then he just replays Rattle Master. We go to one. I mean, we're still in this, technically. And if he has any burn spell, any spell to get this to move out of way, I mean, we're dead to the vapor snag. If for some reason we don't die next turn, we might be okay. Because we're going to Archangel and gain back 19 life. Did it have a vapor snag? I mean, I guess Land Titan does it. Come on, just finish us with the Inferno Titan. Hey, there's Rattle Master. 
What can you have in this deck? Fleeting Distraction. Okay, it's not going to do anything. And Goblin. Okay, so we are not out of this game. I mean, it's still highly unlikely that we're going to win. But we're going to gain 19 life. Anyways, that's what I'm saying, you know, just I'm gonna put a link in and just vote for duels. Like, even if you don't have an Xbox, just vote for duels. Because, you know, if they backwards compatible those things, and I can start, probably Hakeem can start also doing, you know, throwback for the old duels game. So we have our double white, so let's gain 19 life and <laughs> go from there. But we really need a seance. I can't believe that guy didn't have Vapor Snag or Shock or any anything that could fight that one damage through. That's kind of funny. I mean, Time Warp would kind of suck here. <laughs> I mean, give me a break. Give me a fucking break game. Who swings at the Robin Master? I snap block it. Like... It's the, the easiest decision I ever made in my life. I'll put the Archangel in the grave. Since if we draw Seance, it's really good. I'm still going to watch all these damage effects. All right, is it time for an Archaeomancer? I mean, we've kind of run them out of cards now. I mean, I think you just get in for four here. I don't know why you don't. Yeah, those little cantrips he had, the quick in and the fleeting distraction were actually artful dodges, and this this game is actually over. Like, even though you can cast those spells without being on the offensive, I think artful dodge still in, the, in this style of deck is much better. Alright, we are praying for a seance. Nope, we're just uh, flooding out like fucking crazy. Five, six, seven, eight, twelve, so twelve, thirteen, so not a whole lot of lands left, but he's kind of flooding out too. But he also took an extra turn, so I don't feel any sympathy for him. If he ever finds anything like a charm breaker's devil charm breaker devils. Okay, another fleeting distraction. Still watching these fucking damage effects. Come on, people. Like, how is this enter? Like, fire up those damage effects and just tell me if they're entertaining at all. And there's another Electromancer. Thank you. So, in the interest of not dying to Banefire. I think he can still get us. I am just going to do this now. And also, just in case he he gets a skull crack. So I'm just going to gain another 11. So is that we've gained a, a 30 life this game. And he top decks a land. Alright, so I think we're doing alright here. We have the card. All right, let's start a uh, quote-unquote drawing cards with Seance here. All right, there's there's the Lab Maniac. Here's yet more lands, but that's okay. We have an active Seance. We just uh, sit here and hope to beat this board. And we're just gonna keep quote-unquote drawing cards with Seance, putting shit in the grave.
Um, sure. More lands in the grave, but we'll have a soothsayer. There's Talrand. But we are we are at twenty, but the Talrand is going to be problematic. Let's Wayfinder again. I always want to soothsayer on their turn because it blocks more shit. Even though I would have loved to draw any of those three cards. Okay, Wall of Omens is good. Don't play the land yet, just in case we draw a Heat and Crab. No, we just draw a bunch of lands. So we have a... I mean, look at this hand. Look how, look how unbelievable this is. I'm just going to shoot that tower in now, so he doesn't make any drakes. Because that's a way we can lose this game pretty easily. Well, you know, that could have been premature. Because if you play something like Charmbreaker Devils, we would be kind of in trouble. But, you know, I'm going to play to the board and not to potential top decks at this point in the game. Yeah, see, that would have been four power in there. Yeah, I don't agree with him just playing out his lands there. I mean, if anything, you want to flash it back and see if you draw something else. Like a tap land. There's that clicking. Okay. That is something. So we're under a little bit of pressure now. I don't really have any more flyers to deal with that. I don't have a Rune Scar Demon. Um, I'd rather still just draw more cards with Saint. I probably should have Soothsayer there, because I am kind of looking for a specific card. There's another Necromancer's Assistant. My graveyard is not glowing, which means. Uh, I did not mill the spider spawning. Still not. Yeah, I think I definitely should have a suit saved there. But, I don't know. I'm going to suit saved now, though. Um, the cards I would keep, probably, I mean, if I would have drawn a rescue from the underworld, I probably would have kept that. So he's hitting all his card draw spells, so it's a race. I mean, I only got 13 cards left in my library. I mean, we're pretty safe on the ground, as long as it's not an artful dodge. Oh my goodness, Royal Elemental. Like, we for real right now. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. Alright, we are looking for the spawning. If we get the spawning, the only thing we can possibly lose to is an Artful Dodge. So I'm actually going to do on our turn is a uh, Put this crab into play. And play the other crab. So I'm gonna draw a ton of cards. In quotation marks. Sure, we'll play this blue one out. Go down to six. And we hit the spawning. So let's go down to three cards in hand. We still have we still have plenty of mana to flash back that spawning. And this will set up the Lab Maniac kill for the next turn. Let's 
So you would have to go think twice into flashback, think twice into artful dodge to beat us. Um, oh yeah, we got a Milda. We got a Milda, last of our cards here. So let's get that Soothsayer into play. I almost got a Runescar Demon, and that would have been terrible. That means I can't win next turn. And sure, I'll get a Rescue from the Underworld. Alright, good. He didn't top deck us, so we win. Well, that was certainly close. Again, uh... I think my opponent's deck could have been a lot better if he was playing a more streamlined Nizzet deck. Then I think we definitely would have died. But we did gain 30 life off Resolute Archangel, so if at any point you're like, why is this card in the deck? There's your answer. So, 2 for 3 Lab Maniac kills. I mean, we actually didn't really have time to set up the, the hoof kill this game. So we're going to get Lab Maniac, and we're going to win the game. And that's it. We are winners. Well, that was certainly something. And that was actually a really tense, almost 17-minute game. So I'm actually just going to call it a day on this one. So anyways, tune in tomorrow, we'll have the final episode of this deck, and then we'll move on to something else as we barrel towards uh, Duel's Origins, probably like a month away now, maybe a month and a week at most. But yeah, anyways, I'll have the link in the description, just be sure, even if you don't aren't an Xbox owner, just vote for, you know, Magic 2013, Magic 2014, fuck every single Duels, just vote for all of them to be, you know, eligible for that backwards compatibility, and I think that would be, you know... You know, not only great for my channel, great for Akeem's channels, pretty much great for anyone else's channels who, you know, records off an Xbox One. Because then we can just start doing all these throwbacks. You know, we can, uh, you know, do Duel's Origins, or we can maybe come back to here, and then, you know, all of them. I just think it would be great. More magic content for everyone. Especially since I don't have my 360 anymore, so I don't really have access to those games anymore, except on my iPad. And actually, on my iPad, I actually deleted 2013 and 2014 to make room from, from some stuff. And then recently, I reinstalled 2014, and I have an iPad too, and it just, it fucking crashes half the time. I think I had that problem even when it was brand new. And 2013, I can't even find it on the fucking App Store anymore. So it would be great if I can get those old games back on the Xbox One, because they're still great games. Alright, everyone take care, thanks, and remember, go out and vote. Later.